Okay, so now that you've figured out how to actually plug in your Evo and press, let's go over a few of the um, things you can do to start. So first of all, the first time you plug it in, it'll be in this mode. This is what we call the fire mode. If you hold the button down, it'll kind of light up the buttons around it. Uh, this is kind of a fun mode to play with. There's a lot of stuff you can do in here, but um, not everybody wants to keep it in this mode. So one of the big questions is how to change the LED modes on this. So we're gonna go over this in part. Today is just how to, ch or this video is just how to change between each mode. To go into programming mode, you're gonna hit touchpad and left. So you hold those down together and you'll notice some colors changed. The paradise inside turned green, this Evo emblem, the Evo turned red and the, the squares turned yellow, which is not completely visible on here. Now, if we wanna change modes, go to another function all we're going to do is hit the home key. So home once takes us to basically seizure mode. This is the spinnies showing off the four LEDs. Hit it again. It goes into the solid colors, the solid colors. When you press the button, it will change. And then the last mode that we have on here now is the, uh, so we hit the home button again is ripple effect going back and forth. Now, when you hit buttons in this mode, while you're in program mode, you're changing things while you do that. So we highly recommend that if you want to actually come in here, play with stuff, that if you go to ripple mode and you want to see what it's like, come out of programming mode. Those are the second two buttons here. So that's going to be L3 and down. And when you hit that, you'll notice the paradise side goes back to the rainbow. Evo goes back to the colors there. Now you can do whatever you want and you can look at the function. So if we go back into programming mode, again, touchpad and left. We're into programming mode. We're gonna go back to fire. There's four different modes right now, so that will circle back and we're back in fire mode. That's basically how to cycle through the simple LED modes that are present on the stick. We'll cover two more basic things quickly because both of these things are somewhat confusing and people get worried when this happens so these two buttons here so once you're in programming mode left and down will slow your speed down and that slows everything down so it stops reacting and you'll notice the buttons are really slowly changing colors now it's not a fast reaction now we have to hold this down to get it back to going fast again okay so if you notice that you're doing stuff and nothing's happening, there are LEDs, but you don't really see anything changing quickly, hold the down button down to speed up the program again. That allows you to change things in the spinning mode and other places. The other thing that can happen is you plug it in, you hit a button, you don't know what you did and everything's turned off. So if you hit kick four, it shuts all your LEDs off. If you hit punch four, it turns them up a little by little. Hold it down and you're good. Now, we've had a few people come back and go, my gosh, I can't do anything. I'm hitting all the buttons, nothing's happening. If you slow it down tremendously, like you take it way down in speed so it's super slow. And then you hit this. You'll notice I can hit this and it only goes a little by little at a time. You're getting frustrated, just remember Hold the speed button down. You hold it down. You don't need to even count. Just hold it down for a little while. Let it come back on and then it should come back. That's it for now. We'll do another video.